wait wow good early morning let's play in some new makeup now i gotta say this is risky because i got somewhere to go today like i ain't got time to look crazy but here we are makeup forever sent me the radiant satin finish light to medium coverage foundation oh my gosh i just read this i do not like light to medium i already know i'm gonna have to build this up because there's no way i like full coverage i got two shades three different components f18 and then f20 i wonder what f19 looks like if there is one this is a shade f20 wow nice and deep maybe they got it right the frosted glass is a little bit deceiving Receiving. This is F18 and F20. Wow, I wish there was something in the middle. The issue is that this, I believe, will match me way too perfectly. No, this is actually good. I thought this would be too light because I don't like to match my face exactly. It does need to be a little bit darker. Let's just play with this one and see. I got some new Real Techniques brushes too, so let's play in these. This is the 259 Glow Round Brush. I'm doing back of the hand so that I can have more control over the product. And let's get this on. So it's a light medium coverage product with hyaluronic acid in it. Great if you have dry skin. I'm seeing a lot of these products come out, like the Makeup for Everyone, the HD Glow, which I did try in a different video. Make sure you watch that. All all the products are going to be linked down in the description box. And then you can also click the view products tab right here because there are some products that I can link that way. It just makes your shopping easier for you. Comment and let me know if you have dry skin and or if you love a glowy finish foundation because if you do, then these products are going to be great for you. Wow. This looks good. My skin looks very hydrated. Oh my gosh. Did you see my face? I tried this new SPF out earlier. I do not like it. Look, it's leaving a white residue on my skin. That's what you saw in the beginning if you were wondering why is her face like that? Oh, I don't like this. The good thing is that if you do wear an SPF and it does make you look white, once you put your complexion product on, it will, I believe at least, it should go away because you're putting a pigment on top. You feel me? You can still see it on my hairline. Ugh. We gonna cover it right up. Wow, the shade does look good. I'm very shocked. I really was like, Oh no, I need a darker shade. No, this is good. And again, this is a shade F18. I gotta say, I really do like how this feels and looks. I am pleasantly surprised. This is a new L'Oreal True Match Serum Concealer, which also has hyaluronic acid in it. Look at that doe foot. It is huge. It's so cute. This is the shade, ooh yes. This is the shade C8. I forgot what it would look like and this is perfect. So again, if you have dry skin, you have patches on your face, you have mature skin, you like a glowy hydrated finish, these are two products that I think you're gonna love. I've tried this concealer out already and I do like it a lot. The thing is, if you have dry skin and you put on a very mattifying concealer, like for instance, the e.l.f. camo one, the matte one, right? If you put that matte one on and you have dry skin, especially under your eyes, it's gonna look crazy under your eyes and you're not gonna like it. It's gonna stick to any dryness you have under there. So you're gonna wanna, first of all, make sure that you are hydrating your skin with your skincare routine and then choosing products that are best for your skin type. I'm gonna contour with Old Faithful. This this is the LYS Stick Bronzer. The shade is Worthy Deep. Now you know LYS gave us some new blushes, which are so cute. They're not at this desk right here, but I have tried them out in different videos. Make sure you follow my Instagram because many times you'll see that I'll try products out that are gonna be there before they come to YouTube. And it's also on my TikTok too, so make sure you follow that. This is a new Real Techniques brush. It's a Snatch Sculpt and Contour brush. It's the number 261. My placement isn't the cutest, but come on, we gotta just get it where it's gotta go and blend it out, okay? This is a cute brush. Real Techniques brush just can get you all the way together for a very affordable price, okay? I've used Kosa's Cloud Set in the shade Velvety many a times. This is a different shade called Softly. Never used it. It's obviously wicked light. I'm gonna use it to set my highlighted areas. I'll set it immediately under my eye, but then I like to do a luminous setting powder. I'll show you in a second. I will use it to set the other parts on my face that I want to be illuminated. I've had this brush for a long time. I'm gonna tap some of the product and let's make sure that there's no creasing directly under the eyes. And let's get this product right there. And that's just to make sure that the product doesn't break up right here where I have fine lines, okay? And then with the Sephora 79 brush, I'm gonna apply this in the other areas where I highlighted. This is gonna add a little bit of coverage, but also just set it. But I gotta tell you, my face feels good. And although the foundation is as a natural finish, it is nourishing, my face is balanced out. It does not look too oily, it is not look or feel too dry. I did that because if I go like this and my face feels stiff, then I know that the foundation is very matte. And right now it feels so comfortable. So this is what I mean. This is the Huda Glowish setting powder. It's a luminous setting powder. The shade is medium tan. Now, I cannot believe that Huda's gonna discontinue Glowish, which I mean, I understand. She's gotta make sure that the brand is aligned and all of this. I get it. I just love this so much. But what I will say is that e.l.f. has a halo glow powder that I enjoy too. The shade is medium beige. So I'll just have to use that once this is discontinued. So this is gonna set the under eye and also add a highlight. 
I'm gonna reinforce the contour with this powder foundation from e.l.f. This is the shade Rich 660N. And this brush is so cute from LYS. It was sent during the holiday. I love how it's bedazzled. We're just pouncing this. I want it to really flare out, not be so specific. And then we are going to reinforce the jawline here. I don't put product here per se. It's just what's left over from this brush when I do this step. Now here is the other cloud set, which is the shade Velvety. I'm gonna use this big complex cult. Is it complex culture? What is it called? Y'all always ask me. Yeah, it is complex culture. I don't know if that brand still exists or what. Let's put this powder on the face. The foundation is definitely medium coverage, so I can still see a blemish right here, which is a problem for me because I like full coverage. If I'm putting on foundation, I want it to cover everything. However, this finish is definitely pretty. This Koki Cosmetics brow pencil has really been doing it for me. I was gonna use this Maybelline pencil, but listen, I don't have the time to play with that right now. It just, it takes a lot more strokes than I'm used to in Honey. What? It'll be my second time using it, and I just don't feel like tussling with that right now. It is really good though. <laughs> I wanna call it wet because it's a well, a gel pen it's a pen so you know a pen is wet a brow pen I didn't realize I had so many Kosas products next to me. This is their concealer. This is 9.5N. Very nice caramel color. Just look at it behind the hand. And I'm using an e.l.f. Cosmetics flat eyeshadow brush. And let's carve right here under the brow. It doesn't look light enough. It's a beautiful color, but I need this to pop more. This looks like my foundation. <laughs> what? Same concealer. This is the shade 9.1. 9.5, 9.1. Yeah, this looks like my foundation. Oh my goodness. I use the same face powder on my eyes to just even everything out and balance it basically. And then I use this Huda Beauty Creamy Eye Cold. The shade is very Vanta, which is extremely black as an eyeliner. In this NYX Ultimate Eyeshadow Palette, I'm gonna take this gold shade right here to highlight my inner eye. I barely put the brush inside of here and this, what? This gave me a lot of, a lot of shadow, good Lord. I'm wiping off some of the product on the brush in front of me and then blending it in because what? That was a lot. Very pigmented. And as a reminder, all the products are linked below in the description box. Nice little pop. Lashes are on, these are my Old Faithful ones. Again, all links are below, and I use this Revlon Half Lash Curler to press them together. It just makes the job so much easier. And then for mascara, I'm using the Fenty Hella Thick. So good, I love the way that this makes my lashes look. Just look at the bottom lashes, unbelievable. And then if I were to add more layers, bananas. This is a new L'Oreal Infallible blush that I've never tried. The shade is Legendary Berry. Let's try this out. This is a 455 brush. Wait, okay, wow. Let's go back of the hand. This is giving me way more pigment than I expected. Whoa, this is pretty. Again, I see that blemish, it is bothering me. Okay, back of the hand to diffuse and then let's apply. Back of the hand to diffuse and apply. Ooh, I normally do oranges, you know that, but lately I've been doing pinky blushes. I enjoy the one size one, the new one that's out. And then look at this. This is cute. And it's drugstore. Listen, don't sleep on the drugstore. I see the discourse on TikTok about drugstore makeup. When you have makeup clients, like, yo, as long as you know what you're doing, you could really do something with it. Again, like, oh, the medium coverage is bothering me. I want all this covered, but it's not. But the finish of this foundation, I will say I do enjoy. Okay, this blush is pretty as well. Here's a brown lipstick from L'Oreal that I'm gonna use as a liner, basically. Just so happens I'm using so many L'Oreal products in this video, I didn't even expect to do that. Here's a lipstick I'm gonna put on the inside. It's called 113 Le Nude. And look at that detailing, come on L'Oreal. All right, and here's the finished look. What do you think about it? I love, again, I love the way my skin feels and looks. I'll take you with me today. Let's do a wear test. Wear test check-in, it is now 11.39. I did this makeup at 6.30 a.m. I've never had this issue with my mascara. This is a Fenty Hella Thick. I don't know what that means because what? How did it get down on my face? The skin does look hydrated. The blush still looks good in my opinion. The lip is a problem for me because I don't know where it went. Granted, I did just eat breakfast, but it shouldn't be gone like this. So. Wow, that's a problem for me. I'm about to put a gloss on top of it. Other than that, I think the makeup looks good. What do you think? I'll check back in a little bit later. I'm back home. I've mean, been home for a while. I did my makeup around 6.30 this morning and it's now 8.30. So that's what, 12 and a half hours. And I think my skin still looks good. I still don't know what happened with my mascara because that does not happen. You know, when you put your mascara on, you gotta be careful with moving around because if it's not dry, it could transfer. This has never happened before. I'm just gonna chalk that up to just being a fluke. When it comes to my skin, it still looks good. It just bothers me that I can still see blemishes here. I was blowing my nose a few times today, hence why some of the makeup is gone around my nose. So I won't 
chalk that up to the actual product, just what I was doing today. The blush still looks good. My skin still looks glowy. It doesn't feel wet. It was 75 today, so it was moderately nice outside. It doesn't feel wet, but it does have a glow to it. So I like that whole aspect of it. I'm gonna be wearing this a few more times, I will say. I'm gonna add this to the rotation for sure. Let me know if you like these wear tests and let me know if you like this foundation just by looking at it and if you plan on trying it out yourself. All links are below and I'll catch you in the next video.